Hi everyone, it's Jane Story. Welcome back to my mini-series on my forthcoming book, Connected Golf. Here's the manuscript copy, and it's all about bridging the gap between practice and performance. Today, I'd like to have a quick chat with you about what I'm calling the connected setup. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to say that there are two or three things which distinguish the connected setup from what we'll call the orthodox or the mainstream setup. The first and the most important thing is that for the connected setup, when you're standing over the ball, your mind and body must be connected. This is very, very different from standing over the ball, thinking through the menu of positions that you need to steer the body into in order to um, you know, deliver your swing technique. It's a very different approach. When the mind and the body are more related in those moments that you're standing over the ball. In other words, when everything's quiet inside, do you know that your body then can move in a way that's fluid and powerful and effortless? Everything that needs to take place in the golf swing, which in the orthodox way, people try to control and make happen, it happens automatically, it can't help but happen when the mind is quiet and the mind is related to the body. You only have to think of Kung Fu masters, Aikido masters, great athletes. I mean, all the great athletes from Tiger Woods to Roger Federer, they've all told us that in those moments before they have hit that some of their most iconic shots, they were quiet inside. They're not thinking through technique or grip or positions or anything else. So the first d distinguishing feature about the connected setup, we could say that it's an inner setup, is that your mind and your body are more closely related. The second thing, and this is what uh, connected golf is really about, is the condition of the body, the upper body must be connected to the lower body. Now, my biggest influence um, for writing this book, which started a long, long time ago, was when I heard the great Jack Nicholas say that golf is played with the feet. We also have, you know, Ben Hogan, whose swing is held up still as the archetypal golf swing, who told us that movement comes from the ground up. This is exactly what Tai Chi masters, karate masters, kung fu masters have been saying for, you know, centuries. And they know how to train it. And you can't train it just with swing technique. So there's, there's a particular uh, way of training in the martial arts which brings a particular quality to the body, and that quality is called sung, which is spelled S-U-N-G, or sometimes S-O-N-G, like song. But sung means to relax without losing structure, which again is very, very different. It's an Eastern concept, and it's very different from what we understand. Um, in golf and in other sports, and also in training at the gym. When the upper body is soft and relaxed and empty, it can respond to what the lower body wants to do. For instance, when you transfer the weight to one side, when you <clears throat> move from the, the center of gravity just underneath the waist, the upper body will be able to respond to the lower body, rather than leading the movement or working independently of the lower body. So in the connected setup and in the book, in this book, Connected Golf, we're looking at some of these training principles and practices that 
have been done in the Eastern world for you know, many, many, many hundreds of years. So when you're standing over the ball, when your mind is quiet, when your body is relaxed, but you maintain this strength and structure, particularly in the legs and in the ground, but you've freed up the upper body, it can move in a way that is effortless and sublime and right on target. And it's a very, very different approach to trying to steer the body into certain positions. When you try too hard, the analytical mind gets involved and it, for just a momentary, just for a fraction of a second, it delays the signal going to the motor system. And, you know, a lot of my students have said, well, when I think too much, the shot's very clumsy or it feels like I'm forcing the ball down the fairway. But when people train these ancient practices, the body somehow is freer. It can move more freely. It can respond more freely to your visualization, for your intention, for the shot. It responds to the outcome that you see in your mind. So it is a very different approach to the orthodox approach, but obviously it can be used alongside. So I'm not suggesting for a minute that you abandon your mental game practice or you abandon your swing lessons with your professional coach, not at all. But I am saying that alongside that, if you want to really achieve your potential as a golfer, and particularly if you want to perform under pressure, that you need to be doing these performance practices. Now, my special offer, my pre-launch offer of a sneak preview of the manuscript, a signed paperback copy, and a 30-minute coaching call with me. I only have a few places left. The offer is closing on the 12th of December. So it's just a, a week or so away. So please click the link under the video get the special offer and you can start the beginning of 2022 developing your performance practices having a coaching call with me and then you'll be all ready to set up in a way that's more connected when you head back to the course at the beginning of the new season